Hey, youth group. It's Philip. Lucas. And we're going to try something out as we get started with our uh, devotional thought today. Um, I'm going to give Lucas a piece of paper. And obviously, I've got a piece of paper. Here's a couple of pencils. And uh, it's a very simple assignment. Uh, he's going to draw a picture. And I'm going to draw a picture. And I'm not going to tell him what I'm drawing. He's not going to tell him what he's drawing. And then we're going to see if we can guess each other's drawings. So, let's give a go. Okay, all done. Let's uh, let's compare pictures here. All right. So here's my drawing, first of all. Wait, Can you that, tell? Am I going to show the camera? How am I going to guess? I'm going to show it to you. So I, I, saw, I, your... I, I saw it. Okay, so what, what is this? What does that look like? It's a pig and an alligator. A pig and an alligator. It was actually a monkey and an alligator. Not my pretty, best work. It was pretty close. It was weird. The I kind of started out with a... Looks like a cow face, so I could see how you'd think it was a pig. Okay, let's see yours. What you'll never you guess. With? You'll never guess this one. All right, this one. I'm show, gonna show, guess. It to the, show it to the camera. This one looks like some kind it's of pretty bad. <laughs> I gotta admit. Some kind of uh, NFC championship. So what's what's this part? Who what's went? This who supposed went? To be? Who went tonight? Oh, is this Forty uh, Niners? Yep, that's San pretty. Francisco. That is terrible. I that's okay. Admit. No, it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, so um, so here's what I wanted to spend some time thinking about. Do you want me to edit this part out, and do you want to be in this part? I don't care. So I wanted to use that uh, drawing illustration to bring out a fact that uh, probably all of us heard when we were kids. Uh, when you were drawing a picture and someone said, well, what is that supposed to be? And... Uh, you look at your feeble attempt at whatever you're drawing, you're like, well, it was supposed to be a hippopotamus or it was supposed to be a horse or whatever you were drawing. Um, and so we've all probably dealt with that. But then as you get older, I think that's a question that we continue to ask ourselves in some way and we can even kind of obsess over it. Um, you know, like, what am I supposed to be? Who am I supposed to be? What kind of career am I supposed to take? Where am I supposed to go to school? Um, who am I supposed to marry? Uh, what is God's plan for my life? And so those are kind of big questions that in life we ask over and over again in different ways. What if you could ask God that question? God, what am I supposed to be? What am I supposed to be doing? Who am I supposed to be? Where should I go? What should I do? Who should I marry? All those questions, if you could ask them to God, what would he say? And so I just want to direct your thoughts very briefly to a passage in Colossians chapter 3, verse 17, where we read this. And whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And so I look at this passage and I think it answers that question in a really generic, but also a very specific way. Whatever you do, whatever path in life you choose, whatever person you choose uh, to date, whatever career path you take, uh, wherever you live, um, whether you're a policeman or a politician or a judge or a garbage man or a minister or a teacher, whatever path you choose, whatever career path you choose, what is God's plan for your life? This verse says, whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. So, this career that you choose, God wants you to be faithful. In the classroom, He wants you to be faithful. In your marriage, He wants you to be faithful. Whatever you do, whatever, whatever your deeds are, whatever words you speak, He wants you to do those things for His glory. He wants you to use your gift to honor Him. That's really my simple devotional thought for your day. And I hope you can take that and apply it to you if you're kind of asking that question to yourself right now. 
You know, where am I supposed to be? What's God want for me? Um, how am I supposed to be doing this? Uh, whatever context of life you find yourself in, I think that question um, and that answer from Colossians 3 gives us a lot of clarity that God wants us, uh, whatever words we speak, whatever deeds, uh, whatever actions, He wants us to do it for His glory. So today, live your life for His glory. And uh, if you draw pictures, draw pictures for His glory. If you play football, play football to His glory. If you play in the band, play in the band and do it in the name of God. Uh, so whatever choose, whatever you choose to do this week, uh, do it for the Lord. Thanks.